Hi folks out there, thanks to Castelfest for inviting us. Thanks to all of you who will watch us today and listen to our music. We hope that you're fine and healthy. Here it's a really nice and sunny day. We are fine and our quarantine is proceeding quite well. Only a few days and it's over, we hope. We are Emilio and Anna from Amian. Today we are in a homey version, <laughs> without no makeup, uh, uh, no costumes, uh, simply ourselves. For those who doesn't know us, Amian is a musical project born on December 21st, 2011, from a common idea. We found it uh, united by the interest and the passion for the musical sounds of uh, Northern European and Pagan cultures, and uh, also because we fell in love. It seemed uh, natural for us to share also the music, not just the couple's life. Uh, before Amian, uh, we took part uh, in uh, other Celtic uh, and non-Celtic projects. I studied uh, classical harp to the Conservatorio in Avellino for uh, 10 years, but in 2002, uh, almost at the end of my studies, I decided to buy my first Celtic harp and I left the classical harp and I never stopped playing the Celtic one. So actually I play Celtic harp, Indian harmonium, some percussions and I am the singer of the project. Uh, Emilio is a self-taught multi-instrumentalist playing uh, Hardy Gardy, Nickel Arpa, Scottish and medieval bagpipes, fiddle, flutes, Persian santur, percussions and uh, he sings too. We play pig and folk music and uh, we explore many cultures and sounds also from uh, our native lands. From 2011 we worked on uh, three albums, Aquaterra, Chimea and uh, Egeria, and uh, on three video clips, Mother's Breath, uh, The Last King's March, uh, both from uh, Aquaterra, and uh, La Casa dell'Orco from Egeria all available on our YouTube channel, uh, Amian Pagan Folk Music, subscribe it. Uh, from the first to the third album, it was a, a crescendo. We consider Aquaterra uh, as the birth album, spontaneous and less uh, elaborate, and completely dedicated to the music of the Celtic areas. Chimea uh, is the album of growth in which we started to explore the union of different musical languages mixed together and uh, we created uh, also the, the first original songs. For this reason uh, we chose the title Chimea, that is the ancient word that means alchemy, chemistry. We borrowed the magical language of the alchemists and we used the universal uh, symbol of the Ouroboros, the circular snake, on the cover to explain that everything flows according to its natural cycles and that everything happens uh, because it must happen if you want. With um, this album we wanted to say that from the past until the modern times every musical language can always be current finding its own reason and its unique and special place. The last album is uh, Egeria was uh, published on uh, September and we consider it the album of maturity. Our musical experience are uh, condensed and made clear uh, through the choice uh, of some songs belonging to our Mediterranean musical culture, uh, always with the addition of some original songs. That's we consider the album of confirmation which told us, okay, from here we can only move uh, forward. The, the choice of uh, the dragonfly on the cover is uh, ugly symbolic. In uh, every culture, it's the symbol of death and rebirth, uh, a cycle that closes to make room for a new one. And that's, and that's cl clearly what happened <laughs> <laughs> after a few a months. Few month. In fact, although Amian uh, was born as a duo and it never stopped uh, in this form, uh, from 2013 uh, it was expanded with the entry of Danilo as a bass, uh, Irish buzuki, Algerian mondol, some flutes and sometimes boran player. 
while from 2014 uh, Martino took part in the project uh, as a drummer and, and, and uh, percussion and percussion some ah, percussions and, and, uh, and voice and voice yes and voice <laughs> but on last November they decided to leave Emian so we are only me and Emilio <laughs> as the original uh, form of the project during all these long years uh, we collected a large amount of concerts also obtaining two important awards in 2013 as a best accredited artist in the Ferrara Baskets Festival and in 2015 uh, we won the first edition of the European Celtic Contest in Montelago Celtic Festival and we took uh, part in some important uh, uh, European festivals like uh, Festival Medieval, Castelfest, both summer and mm. the winter edition, uh, Celtic Night Gallery, it doesn't exist anymore, Labadou, uh, Celtic Folk, uh, Maxi Folk, uh, Midwinter Fair and many others. We shared the stage with some important bands of uh, folk, new wave, pagan folk scene. Uh, many of them also are uh, also friends for us, uh, like uh, Quelebre, Scurra, uh, Kaser, Sid, Omnia, Irfan uh, and uh, many others. Uh, the Italian audience uh, has uh, known Emian uh, in uh, some important Celtic uh, and fantasy festivals like Montelago Celtic Festival, uh, Festa dell'Unicorno, Triskel, Druidia, Strigarium, etc. Uh, in all these years we met many good musicians and many, many people. Uh, for us it was a, a truly unique experience. The, the first song that uh, we'd like to int introduce is a, a traditional uh, from uh, Albania. And the title, Ballukete Ballit Moi, is the first sentence uh, of the song. Uh, probably there's not uh, an original title. It's uh, a love song uh, played during weddings and is uh, characterized by the fact that it's uh, a polyphonic uh, song, usually sung by men. Uh, it's the second track from uh, Egeria and uh, we chose it because uh, um, beyond the fact that it's uh, a beautiful song that we like it ties a very uh, modern rhythm that we try to bring out with the addition of uh, uh, some instruments uh, in the album there were fiddle, davul, uh, Irish buzuki and a voice. The version we, we are presenting now is the one uh, uh, we developed for, uh, for us and it takes part uh, of uh, our new musical path. And there is uh, a bass where the only recorded uh, instruments are the chifteli, that it's uh, a typical traditional stringed uh, instrument of uh, Albania and uh, it was a gift from uh, a friend uh, who visited Albania and uh, Bulgarian Caval. Uh, Emilio will play the fiddle and uh, this time I improvise as a percussionist playing uh, the tapan and uh, singing. Uh, the video you will see is a part of some recordings, uh, home, home recordings uh, we made uh, during this uh, quarantine period. Enjoy it! Hello. 
Emian was was born in a, a very small country village in Campania, but uh, we come from uh, two different places. Anna were, were born near Naples, uh, and uh, I was born in a, a small village near Lecce, uh, in the very south of Italy, in a small part called Salento. This part? The, the hill. <laughs> <laughs> this part of this, Italy. This part of <laughs> the, the, the hill of uh, Italy. Now we live uh, in, uh, in Irpinia. Very... Now, uh, since uh, 2012, for eight years maybe, eight, nine, nine years, nine years. Uh-huh, we are living in Irpinia. A, A very, very small, small region <laughs> in the art of Campania. It's called the, the, the middle uh, ground. <laughs> We have hobbit, elves, uh, I don't know, Dwarf. whatever. <laughs> Dwarf. <laughs> no, there is a really good uh, food uh, and uh, wine, especially cheese. And uh, it's a place that uh, we love uh, for many reasons, not only for food, wine and cheese. <laughs> Uh, because it's uh, a green land full of quiet and meditative places, full uh, of uh, archaeology and uh, pre-Romanic, Roman and medieval history. So our music uh, is uh, really inspired by all this. In Emian we always tried to gather uh, our musical and live uh, experiences, the deep connection with the journey that always characterized the people of the Mediterranean and uh, European areas, uh, the freedom to experiment and to know different kind of cultural and musical languages, the beauty enclosed in meeting people coming from other places, the loss of ourselves in the world and in nature for which music often becomes a vehicle of transmission. This place, uh, as the native land of Emilio, is uh, really, really inspiring for us. Many songs we, we wrote have been inspired from the history of this small and green land or from our ancient uh, pagan origins. A good example uh, is just in Egeria, our last uh, album. The, the title is inspired by two women. Egeria was a traveler from uh, uh, 300 uh, Anno Domini, one of the few female travelers we know. As uh, we have uh, always been used to believe that uh, at that time women were closed in their houses without other possibilities. And this testimony was illuminating for us. The album contains different stories of uh, women. There is the Calabrian Rosabella, the character of Fronidalia, the bride Matulpa in La Casa dell'Orco. Uh, we realized that uh, Egeria was a female album and uh, that it spoke uh, about traveling. So choosing uh, her as uh, the main icon uh, seemed like uh, a nice tribute. The other Egeria is uh, a nymph of the pagan pantheon of uh, ancient Rome, a Camena, that is a kind of nymph who prophesied through singing. Uh, to which people dedicated the sources and waterways uh, because she was connected to femininity, fertility and uh, childbirth. Also in the album Chimea there are two songs, Iria completely dedicated to Irpinia and Mefite dedicated to an ancient goddess of this land. So the connection between music and our native lands is really strong and always present. Over these years, uh, we discovered that uh, we both don't like cows, but uh, rural places where there's still something to learn that could be lost. In this uh, strange period, uh, we miss nature uh, walking outside somewhere in the woods or visiting uh, Salento, where all the family and friends of Emilio live. Our life has not changed uh, compared to how it uh, usually takes place, except for the lack of uh, live concerts. At the same time, we are lucky to live in this uh, era. We have internet, so we can play streaming, uh, and sometimes uh, it's really funny. 
We are very, very sad that uh, Kastelfest uh, is uh, cancelled for uh, this year and many, many other festivals uh, here in Italy are delayed or postponed. We are sad that we couldn't see and embrace all the people we have known in these last years. We are sad that we couldn't play for you live, but we are taking uh, advantage from this uh, stop moment to work uh, on new sounds uh, and new musical ideas. We don't know if uh, we'll be able to realize everything we want this year, but uh, we can wait. The next tune is a Scottish reel uh, written by by fiddler Jerry Holland, dedicated to Canadian fiddler Brenda Stabbert, is the name of uh, this tune. Maybe because uh, she is among those musicians from uh, Cape Breton who still preserve and keep alive the traditional repertoire of that part of uh, Canada. It's a very energetic song, uh, transcribed uh, also for uh, Scottish bagpipe. The version that you will listen live, 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 live just now, just now. is always part of the new path. Uh, we hope you enjoy. It's a surprise. It's a surprise. This is the moment of greeting, so we'd like to thank uh, many, many people. First of all, uh, all of you who support uh, and uh, follow us, uh, both personally and uh, virtually. Uh, in particular, I would like to thank personally Castelfest and uh, Vana Events for inviting us this year to the festival as a duo. 
despite knowing uh, that the band didn't uh, exist anymore. This gave me confidence in a difficult moment of uh, our musical path uh, as Amian. So, thank you. We'd like to remember that uh, if you want to support our music, uh, we are on Facebook and Instagram. Uh, we are on bandcamp.com, uh, where you can listen and buy uh, our albums. You can find us uh, on all digital uh, platforms. Thanks. Thanks again for being with us. Um, many hugs from Italy and don't forget, stay folk, stay big. Stay safe. <laughs> <laughs> And stay Emian, of course. We hope to see you soon.